In the war of words and the imagery of conflict, consider this return fire. Kim Song-min, North Korean defector, broadcasting a message of democracy to North Korea. Hoping they're listening to radios like these that South Korean activists have smuggled into the communist country. He talks to his North Korean sources every day. The average North Korean, you think, wants a war. Yes, they do, he says. They think they will win a war and escape their difficult lives through war. Kim points out that North Koreans don't get any information other than state-controlled media. But the men in the military, says Kim, tell him they know the regime will lose the fight. The international community, especially the United States, thinks of Kim Jong-un as a madman. Is he a madman? He's so young, he's naive, says Kim. He thinks nuclear weapons will bring the U.S. to the bargaining table. That's similar to what these defectors are hearing from their North Korean sources. We can't show you the faces of these men because they fear the regime. They work at the Daily NK, a U.S. endowment-funded online news site. The sources that we're hearing from are exhausted. Uh, they're exhausted by the drills that are happening right now. They're exhausted by the kind of mobilization of the masses. Gregory Pence is a Chicago native, a Fulbright scholar who decided to stay to work here. So right now I think what you're seeing is Kim Jong-un trying to inspire the masses to rally around the flag, as they say, and adhere to his leadership. Is Kim Jong-un talking to Americans or is he talking to North Koreans? Uh, he's talking to North Koreans. The risk of miscalculation is there. Is, is that something you worry about? <sighs> I worry about how fear can uh, inspire poor decision making. And that's a concern from the Pentagon that a miscalculation could mean that they trip into war. But something we should point out, North Korea today called the United States, quote, a boiled pumpkin. The fact that North Korea is now reverting back to this milder, more juvenile chat from the North, well, that may actually be a good sign that they are toning it down.